Hi, how are you doing? If your blood type is B, how you react to dairy and eggs? If you are experiencing a discomfort or a condition, just focusing on the highly beneficial and eliminating the avoid list of dairy and eggs, you can benefit. Try this diet out and in the comments below, write your experience. If you are new to my channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. In the description below, you'll find links to other videos for your blood type. For now, let's get on with dairy and eggs. The weekly portion size. The weekly portion size of dairy and eggs for your ancestry is eggs, one egg. If you're African, three to four times, Caucasian, three to four times, Asian, five to six times, cheeses, two ounces. If you're African, three to four times, Caucasian, for three to five times, Asian, two to three times, yogurt, four to six ounces. If you're African, up to four times, Caucasian, two to four times, Asian, one to three times, milk, four to six ounces. If you're African, up to three times, Caucasian, four to five times, and Asian, two to three times. The highly beneficial list. Among highly beneficial dairy and eggs, cottage cheese, feta cheese, kefir, cow's whole milk, goat milk, all types of cheese and ricotta cheese enhance your carbohydrate metabolism and help with your weight loss goals. The ones that increase microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance, they do a lot good to your gut health are cottage cheese, kefir, cow's milk, skim or 2%, pecorino cheese and Romanian erda. The neutral list. In the neutral list of dairy and eggs, bright cheese, butter, ghee clarified butter, gouda cheese, Jarlsberg cheese, and Parmesan cheese enhance your carbohydrate metabolism and help with your weight loss goals. You need to be eating these. The avoid list you need to eliminate. In the avoid list of dairy and eggs, those that decrease microbiome diversity and encourage microbial imbalance, which don't do any good to your gut health, you need to be avoiding these are American cheese, gorgonzola cheese, Roquefort cheese, and string cheese. Are you lucky? As type B, you're the only blood type that can fully enjoy a variety of dairy foods because the primary sugar in the type B antigen is galactose. It is the very same sugar present in milk. Thus, many cultured forms of dairy products can act to fertilize your digestive tract to encourage the growth of type B friendly bacteria. Eggs are fine for you. You can eat them. However, there are ancestral idiosyncrasies that blur the picture. If you are of Asian descent, you may initially have a problem adapting to dairy foods, not because your system is resistant to them, but because your culture typically has been resistant to them. Some Asian and African descent have been shown to have a lower number of copies of the gene that digests milk in which case you might want to reduce the frequency of dairy intake. If you are lactose intolerant, here's what you can do. Use lactose-free dairy products or a lactose enzyme preparation. You will be able to digest dairy foods. After you have switched to type B diet for several weeks, slowly introduce dairy foods. Begin first with cultured or sour dairy foods such as yogurt and kefir, which you may be able to tolerate better than fresh milk products. It's been observed that when type Bs correct the overall problems in their diets, they're often able to incorporate dairy foods. My next video is on oils and fats. I publish my video on Friday mornings at 8. Pacific Standard Time. See you then.